variations are common and inevitable in most construction projects. 1. Variation by instruction. 2. Variation by request for proposal. 3. Variation in the context of value engineering. 1. Variation by instruction. First step is the notice to the contractor by the engineer. In accordance with subclause 3.5 engineer's instructions, the engineer gives a notice that defines and describes the required changes and requirements for the recording of the costs. Second step is the submission of detailed particulars. The contractor is to submit detailed particulars to the engineer within 28 days or another period agreed of receiving the instruction, including the description of the varied work performed or to be performed, including details of the resources and methods adopted or to be adopted by the contractor. The program for its execution and the contractor's proposal for any necessary modifications if any to the program according to the subclause 8. The contractor's proposal for adjustment to the contract price by valuing the variation in accordance with clause 12 measurement and valuation, with supporting particulars. If the parties have agreed to the omission of any work which is to be carried out by others, the contractor's proposal may also include the amount of any loss of profit and other losses and damages suffered or to be suffered by the contractor as a result of the omission. Third step is the agreement toward determination. The engineer is to proceed under subclause 3.7 to agree or determine the extension of time if any the contract price adjustment in accordance with Clause 12, Measurement and Payment. 2. Variation by Request for Proposal First step is the notice to the contractor by the engineer. Before instructing a variation, the engineer is to give the notice to the contractor that defines and describes the proposed changes. Second step is the notice to the contractor responses in two ways. The contractor submits the proposal includes the issues as described in subclause March 1st 13. The engineer responds by giving the notice to the contractor stating the consent or otherwise. If the engineer does not give consent, the incurred cost will be subject to subclause 20.2 claims for payment and or EOT. Or, the contractor does not submit a proposal but describes the reasons for not submitting hence the contractor explains the situation by reference to the issues described in subclause 13.1, right to vary. 3. Variation in the context of value engineering. First step is a written proposal to the engineer by the contractor. The proposal is to accelerate completion. Reduce DHECOST OFDHEPROJECTDHROUGH its lifetime, improve efficiency, provide benefit to the employer. Second step is a notice to the contractor by the engineer. Third step an instruction of variation to the contractor by the engineer. If the proposal includes a change in the design part of the permanent works, the cost of the design is to be covered by the contractor's OF subclause 4.1 Contractor's general obligations is to apply 